Good evening, everyone. Uh, the purpose of this video is to do an overview of the upcoming change of command ceremony and parade taking place this upcoming Fort Erie on the Saturday morning of Saturday, August 10th, 2024, for the change of command of Brigadier General Williams to Brigadier General Fournier. So in front of you on the screen is an overview of the change of command ceremony with diagrams showing the position of the Crown Forces North America, including the infantry battalion, the Crown Forces drums, the artillery detachments, First Nations allies, as well as the generals reviewing dais and inspection. So at approximately 10.40 a.m., the battalion will fall in near camp by seniority by Sergeant Major Wardle as per normal. The Royal Artillery and Cavalry Troops have already paraded, dismounted, and with guns on the parade square. Sergeant Major Wardle will turn the parade over to Adjutant Pinn, who will then follow the officers, conducts a brief musket inspection and safety inspection of the battalion. He will then turn the parade over to Lieutenant Colonel Forney at the time, who will follow in the colors, in this case, the colors of the 41st. Upon completion of the inspections, Colonel Forney will march the battalion in column over to the parade ground. Upon reaching the parade ground, the battalion will form line facing Fort Erie, approximately 100 paces back from their viewing stand. Upon reaching position and forming line, the battalion will take the open order with the following positions. The battalion colors of the 41st will be advanced three paces ahead of the front rank. Captains or company commanders will be in front of the units, having oblique three paces to the left and are covering in front of the second file from the right. Any additional unit officers will be on the left of their units, having oblique three paces to the right and covering in front of the second file from the left. Agent Penn will be in front of the will be in, on the right of the battalion, dressing with the front rank of the Grenadiers. Lieutenant Colonel McKay will be advanced two paces in front of the colors in the center of the battalion. Colonel Forney will be advanced four paces in front of the colors, with Lieutenant Colonel McKay on his left. The Crown Forces drums will be in two ranks and are between the battalion colors and the front rank of the battalion. Four camp colors, two of the 41st and two of the 49th, will be placed at the corners of the parade to mark the wheeling locations. The reviewing stand will be placed at the center of the parade square with the battalion face paced approximately 100 paces away. A small flag markers will be placed at different intervals along the reviewing uh, route to help with reviewing timings uh, and locations. So at 1100, 1, 11 o'clock in the morning, the formal change of command will begin. Where the reviewing stand will be a uh, number of dignitaries from uh, including previous uh, Crown Forces commanders, members of uh, uh, National Historic Site and Historic Site staff, uh, as well as other dignitaries. So when the change of command begins, General Williams will arrive and take position on the reviewing stand accompanied by aide, accompanied by aide de camp ball. When General Williams is within 60 paces of the reviewing stand, as indicated by a flag marker, Colonel Forney will order a general salute without turning around, and the drum should beat. When uh, General uh, Williams arrives uh, on the viewing stand, Colonel Forney will order his shoulder arms. General uh, Williams will then inspect the men from right, from left to right. Music will play, but will cease when he has reached the right front, the right uh, sorry, right flank of the battalion. So you'll see here, he'll go from the reviewing sound meeting by Colonel Forney and Lieutenant Colonel McKay. He will march past the colors, salute the colors, inspect the drums, then move along to the right hand of the front rank of the battalion, move down the front rank, then back along the rear rank. Once the battalion is inspected, they will then hang left, review the artillery detachments, and then lastly, before returning to the dais, they'll reviewing the First Nations allies. After the completion of the uh, battalion inspection, the first march pass will begin. So when General Williams moves back to the reviewing stand, Colonel Fournier turns around and he has the battalion take the close order. Colonel Fournier and Lieutenant Colonel McKay will then move to the rear of the center of the battalion, where Colonel Fournier will then order battalion will move off to the right and open column of review. Companies on the left, backwards wheel, at which point the left marker will face to the right and the company commanders step out to face to the markers. On the command march, the remainder of the company completes the backwards wheel. The company commander's orders halt dress. Music repositions itself forward to approximately 20 paces from the viewing dais and does not take part in the first march past. Colonel Forney then takes place post at the head of the column. Lieutenant Colonel McKay just behind him to his left. Major Pinn will be in the rear and the center of the left, uh, center of the light company. The colors are three paces behind the fourth company or the center of the battalion, depending on how many companies are there on the day. 
Colonel Foyne will then order the battalion will advance. Drums will beat. March. The battalion will step off. Upon reaching the first camp color, each company will make its first wheel in succession with each company commander ordering halt, left wheel, halt, dress, march in succession. Uh, after completing the first wheel and once each company has marched six paces past the wheeling point, the company commander will move to the left flank of, the, of his company behind, going behind their company to do so. Upon reaching the second camp color, each company will make its second wheel in the same manner as the first. When the lead company has completed its second wheel, it will now be in line with the reviewing stand. Once each company has marched six paces past the wheeling point, the company commander will then order eyes right and will then order rear rank take the open order. So this will be on the march. Upon hearing the first, com com the first company's eyes right and open order, the music begins to play. Uh, in this case, for General Williams, it will likely be playing Portsmouth for the 49th. Officers will move three oblique paces in front of their companies and port their swords, as would be the position for an open order. As the officers move forward, their covering sergeants move forward to preserve the officer's pace, place in line with the front rank. When each officer is within six paces of General Fournier and the reviewing stand, they'll begin the salute by recovering their swords and then dropping their swords when in line with him. This will be the general salute as they march past. They will hold this position until they are 10 paces beyond the general. Uh, and then the officers will then once again recover their swords and return to the port. Company commanders will then order an eyes front. When Colonel Forney has saluted at the head of the column, he will place himself near General Williams until the, until the rear of the, uh, has marched past. When each company is 30 paces past the general, uh, the company commander will then order rear rank take the close order and will immediately shift to the left flank and bring his sword back to the advance or the carry. Uh, each company will then conduct two more wheels to form to form to the left of the drum corps. So they're now moving, forming a new position closer to the dais, approximately 20 paces, with the drums dictating the new positioning. Um, uh, when the leading company reaches its ground, Colonel Forney will order halt. Colonel Forney will then order their battalion will move from column into line by wheeling to the left by companies. By companies to the left, wheel. Left marks will face left. Company commanders will move out to preserve the wheel and then command march. Once the battalion is formed line, Colonel Foyne will then have the battalion perform the platoon loading exercises be given and will give the commands. Uh, once loaded, Colonel Foyne will have the battalion fire a feu de joie out of 45 from left to right in order to mark, in order to honor the work contributions of General Williams to the Crown Force of North America. Once the feu de joie has been completed, uh, a gun, uh, like at this point, a, a one of the a chosen gun from the artillery will also uh, finish off the feu de joie, firing downrange towards the field at Fort Erie. Uh, so this would be to the right of the battalion, so the top left-hand corner of the diagram here. Um, at this point, so this is when the actual formal change of command will begin. Uh, so General Williams will briefly address the troops. Uh, he will then invite Colonel Fournier to the reviewing stand. They will exchange salutes. General Williams will then announce he is turning command of the Crown Force North America over to the newly appointed Brigadier General Fournier. General Williams will retire with his wife, as well as a while ADC Ball will remain on the reviewing stand to rate the new brigade commander, General Fournier. General Fournier will then order the battalion to give another general salute as General Williams leaves with the roll of the drums. And upon his departure of General Williams, General Fournier will call Lieutenant Colonel McKay to the front of the battalion and formally terms the command of the battalion over to him. Um, after this point, there will be a second march pass conducted, uh, in the same manner as the first, but Lieutenant Colonel McKay will have, McKay will have the battalion conduct another march pass in the same manner. Uh, Major, uh, and Adjutant Payne will be now be take position, uh, behind Lieutenant, McK Lieutenant Colonel McKay to his left. This time the band of music drums will be playing at the head of the column. They'll be playing, uh, likely Snowden, uh, for the 41st March for General Fournier. And upon completion of the second march pass, they will not return to the parade score, but they instead they will march uh, back to camp and will be dismissed in the standard form.